I love questions because they require a response and force us to have an honest conversation with ourselves. In the creator world, it's easy to get into the rhythm of putting out videos and forget to ensure the videos are doing what we intended. <laughs> Here are a few questions I like to ask. Who is this for? Another would be, why do they need it? Here's a third. How did this help me? A fourth, should this be a series? And the final question, is it possible to make this a short or a reel? These are the five questions I ask myself before I create any video, but there's a little more to it. And I'll share the details around each question in the full video. Okay, all right, all right. Five questions to ask before you create your next video. All right, five questions. I wanna try and move as quickly as I possibly can through this. The first one is, who is this for? Who is this for? Ask yourself, as you come up with that topic, as you have that light bulb moment, as you have that idea, who is this for? Write it down. This is for this person. We're talking about the target audience. Who are they? What do they do? What is their day like? What are their struggles, their stresses? What does this particular video do for them? You wanna look at the specific group of consumers most likely to want your product or service. That's what a target audience is defined as. <laughs> what would they need to see or hear that triggers their need? Because if you think in that terminology, you know exactly how to hook them so that they'll watch the whole video hook them so that they are confirming that this video is exactly what they're looking for. I've been looking for this one all my life, Johnny. Or that this video is piquing their interest because even though they may not have been looking for it, now that they've understood what the video is all about, they can't unhear it, they can't unsee it, and they wanna make sure they have more. Some things you can't unsee. Who is this for is the first question I always ask myself every time I'm getting ready to create a video. And I would encourage you to do the same. Question number two, what do they need this for? Okay, let me rephrase. Why do they need this? People are intrinsically selfish. They want to know what's in it for them. This is that value proposition piece. Help me help myself. How does it help them? What does it solve? What box does it check? What need does it fill? How does it add benefit? Why is this better than what they have been doing or how they have been doing it? Make sure you play on those pieces. As you ask yourself these questions, these are not only questions to help to filter out some of those you know, wild, wild, crazy ideas that you have as you're creating content, but also these questions that help you to formulate your strategy as you put pen to paper to craft the video that you're creating. So you start by asking, who is this for? That's the target audience. Then you go on to asking, why do they need this? That's that value proposition. Is it a how-to video? Are you sharing method and strategy, insight, wisdom, perspective? Are you doing comparison or review? What will they walk away with they didn't have before? That should have some value. Ensure you know what those things are because as you define them, you know what your points are for the video, number one. Number two, you know how to ensure that you get that video in front of the right audience. It's gonna spill over into your thumbnail. It's gonna spill over into your description. It's gonna spill over into the title. It's gonna spill over into the themes that you choose to touch on as you continue to create the video. All right, that's question number two. Question number three, what's the story behind the video? <laughs> now, now I like to say, what's the story on how this helped you? This is something that you're sharing, all right? You, you've already answered who, who this is for and why they need it. Now, what's the story on how this helped you? Many times we don't have street credibility because we never share how this helped me. If you notice, <laughs> I shared right at the beginning of the video. These are the five questions I ask myself before I create any video. As you get into the creator rhythm, you begin to see content literally everywhere. As you see content everywhere, you wanna make sure that you aren't just running wildly after creating videos. 
You want to have a compass that gives you a true north that allows you to stay in your lane, in your niche, on topic, consistent. And these are some of the questions that allow you to do just that. What's it to you? You want to make sure you share why it is relevant to you first. And when you do that, that gives you the straight street credibility that we're talking about. But also you generally find that there is a story around the information. There's a story, man. I found this uh, as I was doing my church announcements. There's a video that I did that's 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 actually titled that. I figured this out as I was doing my church announcements and I share the story around church announcements, even though the solution I'm sharing has nothing to do with church announcements. Why? Because people love the story. You know I love a good story. People love the journey. People want to walk with you through the journey. So if you can ask yourself, what's the story behind this? Or better yet, what's the story on how this helped you? How did it help you to understand better? Then you can not only ensure that there's credibility, but you can also infuse in the content itself that story so that people can take that journey with you. Can that story be the headliner? Can that story be the main focus? Can that story stand on its own? Does that story give people a window into who you are and allow them to recognize that they're just like me? They have issues, they have struggles, <laughs> they're not perfect, and I wanna make sure I follow along with them. All right, here's question number four. What if I made this a series? I always ask myself that question. What if I made this a series? Is there too much here for me to really cover in one video? You gotta ask yourself, am I covering too much? Is there any disconnects? Maybe have your family watch the video and see when they start checking their phone or you know, rub their eyes when they turn their head away from the content. Maybe you're sharing too much. Instead of four points, should it be four videos? How much information is under this umbrella topic? <laughs> should there be a masterclass or a course? Maybe you should just kind of wet their beak a little bit, then tell them where they can get to the full content because you want to make sure that the content isn't going to be too much. With all this stuff, it's just kind of like a little information overload. There is such a thing as providing too much information in that first go round. For many people, this is where the tension lies. What if I made this a series? And that one question, it frames it in the positive. Because a lot of times we frame it in the negative, like, man, I'm saying too much. Man, I'm doing too much. This is too much content. No, what if you made it a series? As a content creator who has to feed the content monster on a week to week basis, I'm always looking for ways that I can fine tune and put out on a more consistent basis my content. So when I can come up with series, I'm always recognizing that, hmm, now I'm covered for even more weeks. That's smart. So when you make it a series, you not only help yourself, but you make that content bite size, you increase that viewer session time, you ensure that you have some consistency because your content will flow because you can sit in one setting and record all of it, but you can chop that up into a series. Always ask yourself the question, what if I made this into a series? Here's the final one, and I hope that it hits home for all of you. What does a 60 second version look like? One thing that has been transformational for me is ensuring that I strip my content down to something that I can share in 60 seconds. And if you notice, right at the beginning of the video, I have been doing that for a couple years now, where I share all the five questions in this particular instance, and then I say, I'm gonna go in depth in the full video. But but those five questions is exactly what I'm gonna cover. And so if the person that has 60 seconds doesn't have any more time, they can watch that short, watch that reel, gain access to the information that they need, they can move on. Or if they want more, they can watch the full video. Strip the value down to a blurb that can be clearly articulated in under 60 seconds. Make it fast. Think of this as a log line for your content or your value that you placed within the video. And if you don't know what a log line is, this, you wanna go ahead and Google that one and let me know in the comments what you find. I just Google it. Record your 60 second version as a partner short to the full video. This is the hack I wanted to leave you with. And those are the five questions that I wanted to share. <laughs> Number one, who is this for? Number two, why do they need this? Number three, 
What's the story on how this helped me? Number four, what if I made this a series? Number five, what does a 60 second version look like? These questions will serve as a compass, helping you to have laser focus and staying on task. Thumbnail and description are great next steps once you have answered these questions. Many creators at this stage are also working with a video editor for their content. And in this video right here, I share five questions to ask yourself when hiring a video editor. <laughs> questions are so helpful. So click right here to check them out and I'll see you over there. <laughs> Later, fam.